Hey guys, it's Skulker3 and welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Eve. In the last part, uh, Gary managed to escape from a horrible room full of dolls. Uh, he saved Eve from Mary. Uh, and we got to this bizarre crayon world, we solved a few puzzles, and now... We must make our way into this little house thing here. And hope for the best, essentially. What have we got here? Toy box. Mm-hmm. I guess this is what we've been looking for for a while. This is the toy box. It's rather big. But, at any rate... I can't see any keys in there. It said there was a key in there. I can't say I see the bottom. Is there really a key in there, I wonder? <gasps> Wanna see? Huh? Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. So are we now inside the toy box? Oh boy, this doesn't look good. Hi, mannequin heads and dolls and headless statues. Hmm? Oh no. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Petals on the ground. Please say they can get to the rose. Please say there are still some petals left on at least. Found it. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. We also need to find Gary and... Well, you two can just piss off. Get out of the way of the door, we might need to get out later. Oh, and you look at this lovely bit of symbolism right here. We've got a red rose and a blue rose that are melting or bleeding or something. And just to top it off, there's a little blue doll sitting in the blue blood. Just fantastic. Oh my god, Gary! <sighs> Ow. I hit my head. <sighs> hey, are you okay? Well, judging by our flower, we're probably not doing exactly fantastically. Huh? What? No fractures or anything, right? Hmm. Well, you can still walk, so I'm guessing not. Don't scare me like that. I'm sorry, but... At any rate... This place is full of scribbles. This is the toy box. We fell in from the upper floor. After she pushed us. Well, let's look for the key and get out. Good plan. Um... Oh, hello, clown. Your nose is still intact, I see. It hasn't fallen off and splattered against a wall. Which is always a good sign. Um... Oh, that's... That's lovely. We've got a toy train that's... Run over a doll here, and it's bled horribly to death. Uh... Where's the key, though? Um... Is it gonna be in one of the dolls? I really hope not, because I've had enough of... Hunting through dolls for keys for one day. Um, got weird footprints turning into paw prints here, and... You crafty little kitty. Hiding a key on your paw that's the same color as your body. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, this isn't good. What? I don't like this. It's just like before. Oh, God, no. Please. Ah, what's with these guys? Eve, be careful. Oh, boy. So if we get hit once, then it's dead for us. Oh, thank goodness for getting out of the way, because otherwise we could be in a lot of trouble right there. <sighs> that was close. Um, right. Well, we're out safely now, at least, which is good. Um, let's head up here and... Did, did this room change? Yeah, quite quite a bit. There's vines crossing here now. They're already blocked, telling us not to go up then. Gotta get through somehow. Uh, let's look at them a bit. These thorns are odd. They don't see real. Well, they don't see real. Whatever that means. They don't feel as lively as plants should. Very much fake. Of course, there's lots here that doesn't feel real. And that sunlight, for example. We're really deep in this now, aren't we? A little bit. Um, maybe burn them down? Burn them. Yeah, I suppose that'll work. It completely slipped my mind, even though I have a lighter. Alright, let's burn these. Please work. Hey! That's a good sign. Uh... Success! Work, Deeb! Alright, let's see what's up here then. Hopefully something not horrible. Hmm? This room. This isn't the toy box, is it? More importantly, see that, Eeb? The painting on the far wall. I think I've seen it before. Let's take a look. Uh, sure thing, Gary. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no! Who's there? <gasps> Eeb! Gary! You're both okay? How did you get into this room? Leave. Mary, you... Don't take another step! What? Leave right now! Now, now, now! Leave! Ah, Mary, please don't kill us. Uh... 
It's a good thing she stopped for us to do this. Oh, God. I think the only thing to do is... There's no other option. Eep! Please stop! I'm so sorry, Mary, but... It's you or us. Ah! <sighs> no! I'm really... I wish it didn't have to end this way, Mary, but... There's just no other way around it, it seems. Hmm. You okay? I have to say... Girls sure can be scary. <laughs> a little bit. Well, anyway, it burned up a lot more violently than I expected. Are you okay, Eve? The glass shattered, after all. Hmm? My hand? Oh, you're right, I cut it. I didn't even notice. It must have just happened. Well, it's just minor. Take our handkerchief, Gary. I think you need it more than we do. Ah, handkerchief. May I use it? Hmm. Isn't this real lace? Well, I don't particularly want to tarnish this. Too late, unfortunately. Oh well, I'll borrow this anyway. Thanks, Eve. No problem, Gary. Well, let's get going. Let's. Pile of books. Are these books about candy? And these storybooks? How to make friends. Oh, Mary. Is that, is that all you wanted, was some friends? The palette knife sits among a pile of burnt paper ashes. She really wasn't human after all. A mannequin on canvas. So all she had was mannequins and... These little things. I've had enough of these. Don't touch it, Eeb. I've had enough of them too, Gary. Believe you me. <sighs> Creepy. Um, let's just say... I like the visitors coming in to live with me, but... I want to leave this place myself and live outside. But unless I take the place of someone from outside, it seems I can't do that. Won't somebody come soon? Won't somebody come soon? Oh, Mary. This is... So that's... I suppose that's why she was following us. She wanted to... She wanted to replace one of us and... Get out of this horrible place. I can... I suppose I can sympathize. If I was forced to be a painting... And just... You know, I could see people... Living their free lives and just... I would be trapped in a painting and... Then trapped in this... Horrible place. Not this horrible place specifically here, but... Just Gertena's world. I, I can definitely... I can definitely feel that... I would go insane. Well, we finally managed to heal our rose, which is a good thing. Um... See what's awaiting us in the pink house then. Hopefully nothing too bad. Well, it's dark. Watch your step, Eve. Well, this is definitely foreboding, isn't it? Just a descent into complete darkness. All right, what's what's next for us? Wait, this place looks familiar. We're back at the gallery. There's no blood on the window, which is it's a bit weird that that's kind of. The weird thing about this place is that there is no blood on the window, or paint, or whatever it was. Welcome to the world of Gertena. We truly thank you for attending today. We're currently holding an exhibition for the great artist Vice Gertena. We hope you deeply enjoy the art of the late Gertena, whose creations carry such mystery and beauty both. And yeah, of course, because we have Gary, he can help us read the rest of the paintings. A well-meaning hell. Oh, <laughs> that's... that's just a lovely title, Gertena. Abyss of the Deep, a world where man will never stand. To realize that world, I decided that I would engrave it within the canvas. Fair dues, though I might have to object with you saying that no man will stand there, since we kinda stood there. Embodiment of Spirit, beautiful at a glance, but if you get too close, it will induce pain. It can only bloom in wholesome bodies. So, it bloomed for Eve, it bloomed for Gary, but... What about Mary's rose? Was that a... Did that just bloom from her, or was that part of the painting she was in? I don't even know, but... <sighs> the coughing man. I kind of wish... <sighs> I mean, I know it would be impossible for Mary, because she needed to replace someone, but... I just wish there was a way that all three of us could have escaped. I mean... Until she... I mean, she was so desperate for her goal, it's not that surprising she started turning violent. But... She wasn't that bad most of the time. She seemed perfectly nice. She seemed perfectly cheery. 
I think she'd have been truly happy outside. But I suppose, in a way, we've put her out of her misery, at least. Anyway, lady taking the newspaper, the hanged man that Gary was looking at before, couplet towers, and worry again. You just love showing up, don't you, worry, with your big, scary eyeball of horror. These two we already could read, but this one, still life on table. Mm. I'm still not entirely sure what that is. It looks like a spoon with jam on it or something. What's this? Misshapen diamond. Lady in red. Not gonna jump out at me? Try and eat me? No. Nope. Alright then. I'm good with that. The fruits somehow got back into the frame. I'll, I'll accept it. Weariness. This gallery, it's still weird, but it's more like the gallery after everyone disappeared than it was at the very start, or before we came into the rest of Gratena's messed up world. Fusion. It kind of looks like uh. So I'm not entirely sure what fusion means in this case, but... Oh well. Okay, this looks different to before. Before it was a lot darker, there was... Lady in Red was there, but now we've got fusion, we've got what I think is the fish from downstairs. The taste cleansing tree in the front desk. We've got people. Is this going to take us back to the gallery? Something world. Once you go in, there's no going back. All your time here will be lost. What does that mean? Will you still jump in? We don't know one of the words. What's this big mural? Fabricated world. Hey, isn't that the former gallery? Does that mean if we jump into this, we'll go back there? But how are we meant to jump into a painting? What? Oh god, please don't be anything bad. Eve, look, the frame! Now might be our chance. He made it! Yes, I'm really in! Hurry up, Eve! Eve? What? Excuse me. Eve, what's wrong? Come on! Mum? Eve, I finally found you! Sheesh, I was looking everywhere! Don't just go running off places on your own! Your father's waiting for you too, see? Let's go, Eeb. Eeb, hey, what are you doing? Hurry up and come over. Eeb, how many times have I told you? Don't go following strangers. Hey, it's not scary, okay? You'll be fine. Eeb, listen to your mother. Don't go with some stranger. Do you want to never see your mother and father again? Eeb, I'll pull you over. Come Grab me. my hand. Eeb! Eeb. 